President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden make a rare joint campaign appearance right here in Dayton. Good evening, I'm Megan O'Rourke. And good evening, I'm Katie Houston. Thousands attended the rally at Triangle Park this afternoon. Our very own Mark Allen was there. In tonight's top story, he joins us live to tell us what the president had to say to voters here at home. Guys, the president and vice president uh, wrapped up their remarks here at Triangle Park uh, just about half an hour ago before an estimated crowd of almost 10,000 people. Now consider this, since the month of June, the six people vying for president, vice president and first lady have visited the state of Ohio a grand total of nearly 70 times. But given all that, this one still was somehow a first. It was the first time in the entire campaign the president and vice president have appeared together at the same campaign event. And of course it happened on the day right after the final debate and just two weeks from Election Day itself. Here is some of what they had to say just about a half hour ago. He even tried to rewrite the history of his position on rescuing the automobile industry. Yo, have you no, whoa. <laughs> if I only knew he was ready to help back then. If I only knew. We joke about uh, Governor Romney being all over the map, but. But it speaks to something important. It speaks of trust. There's no more serious issue in a presidential campaign than trust. Trust matters. You know, you, you want to know that the person who's applying to be your president and commander in chief is trustworthy. That he means what he says. That he's not just making stuff up depending on whether it's convenient or not. Both men also talked about the importance of early voting and voter turnout here in the state of Ohio. Did some checking on that. This is interesting. The number of people who could have voted but did not in the last election in 2008 is larger than the number of people who voted for either Obama or McCain. So the key in this last two weeks may well be which side does the better job of getting those people off the sidelines and, and actually casting a ballot uh, this time around. It also appears at this point that 43 of the 50 states are essentially decided at this point, which of course means the candidates will be spending probably all of the next two weeks in those seven battleground states still undecided, including us here in Ohio, the only state to correctly choose the winner in the last 12 presidential elections. Much more on today's event coming up at 6. I will see you then. I'm Mark Allen live at Triangle Park. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, before visiting Dayton, the president made a campaign stop in Florida. Tomorrow, he begins a two-day around-the-clock blitz. President Obama will visit eight states during the 48-hour stretch, including Ohio on Thursday. He'll stop in Cleveland. He'll also join Jay Leno on The Tonight Show Wednesday. You can watch that right here on WDTN following 2 News at 11. Now, insiders say he'll sleep aboard Air Force One, even making calls to voters while he's in the air. By Thursday, the president's expected to return to his hometown of Chicago to cast his own ballot.